Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. In the last video, you learned about starting and delaying coroutines. This video will go a little bit deeper into that suspend functionality of coroutines. If we use the delay function for coroutines, so let's write global scope.launch, start a new coroutine, and call delay in here for a thousand milliseconds. If we use that function and click onto it, press control plus Q, then you can see that this is not a normal function, instead it is a suspend function, so public suspend function delay. And in Android Studio you can also see that this is a suspend function at that little arrow here on the left. So if you hold on to it, it tells us suspend function call. The special thing about suspend functions is that they can only be executed within another suspend function or inside of a coroutine like we do it here. So we are inside of that coroutine launch block here and inside here we can call the delay function but if we take this function and want to use it outside of our coroutine it will throw us an error. Suspend function delay should be called only from a coroutine or another suspend function. So we cannot just use this delay function like we can do it the, um, with a thread.sleep function to simply call it from everywhere, we can only call delay from within a coroutine or within another suspend function. And of course we can write our own suspend functions if we go outside of onCreate and write suspend fun. And I will call this do network call. I will just simulate a network call here by delaying this function by 3000 milliseconds. And after that, I actually want to return a string here. After that, it should just return the answer of that network call. Just this is the answer. So just imagine this would be an actual network call that takes some time until it gets the answer and then it returns the answer. By doing this, we just simulate that network call basically. And now, after we've created that network call function, which is a suspend function, just like the, the delay function, we cannot call this function just from um, outside of a coroutine. So we cannot use do network call here. That will throw us an error because we cannot call that from outside of a coroutine. But we can call it inside of our coroutine, of course. And we can write val network call answer and set that to do network call. Do network call. And that will just basically take this code and replace it with this. So in internally it will do that. If we would just do another suspend function, I actually just copy this one and paste it and do network call two, which will also delay this coroutine for three seconds. And we duplicate that line up here, network call answer two, do network call two, then execute that program. Actually, we need to print it. Log the tag and we print network call answer one and network call answer two. If we now execute that app and take a look in Logcat, you can see that for six seconds it won't print anything, but afterwards it will print both results. So that means that this first delay call will also influence the second delay call, so they will basically add up because they are executed in the same coroutine. So yeah, that was just a little overview of suspend functions. If this video was helpful for you, please leave a like and comment below. Also, if there is anything you didn't like about it, then please let me know so I can improve on my content. Have a good day. See you in the next video. Bye bye.